Good morning, good morning. Bright, bright morning. Chilly, but bright. And what do I have in my hand? A palm. <laughs> well, kind of a palm. Because today in the Christian tradition is Palm Sunday. And there's a story that we hear today about Jesus coming into into a great celebration. People thought that he was going to be, you know, the king, the Messiah, who's going to save the Jewish people. And lo and behold, um, people were expecting to see a chariot parade here, uh, somebody who was going to be a conqueror. And this guy comes riding on a donkey. I mean, come on. Talk about a letdown. What were they expecting? What they were expecting was what Caesar always provided was, plenty of pomp and ceremony. But Jesus comes with humility, and that gives us a story and gives us something to think about. Also, Christians throughout the world today hear the story of the crucifixion, the passion, the trial of Jesus. Now, it's a story that we've heard maybe, you know, so many times and think, oh yeah, well, that's that, that story about, yeah, yeah. But for me, as a young boy, and I think throughout my life, that story has meant something to me because it really characterizes injustice. Injustice has been an important part of my life, and I have tried to practice justice. I have tried to be a just person, and that has you know, propelled me through my career in policing and, and even into the ministry. But you wonder, what are your what are your roots of injustice in your life? And how does, how does that inform you? And I was thinking today about that. Is that I, was, uh, I actually moved uh, 16 times in 18 years, the first 18 years of my life. My dad was a traveling salesman and we, we moved a lot, probably avoiding the rent collector we moved every year. So that means that I went to a new school every year and I always was the new kid in the class. And I think I know what that is like to be an outsider in my own special kind of way. But I've always been concerned about justice. And I think, you know, our message today in this time of pandemic, of plague, is something that comes from our Jewish tradition. It's called Tikkum Olam. And in Hebrew it means to heal the world. And that's our job. And it doesn't make any difference what you believe. It doesn't make any difference what it's what you do. And are we willing to be healers of this world? And it's not just about the virus. It's about all around us, about our environment. Are we acting as healers or are we acting as people who don't heal, who consume, who don't care, who soil the earth. So to, let's be thinking about that. How can we be healers of the earth? And have a good day. I invite you to join me this week as I do some meditations on Maundy Thursday, the Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and then on Easter morning. Please join me. Have a great weekend. God bless you. Bye. Hey, hey, how do we turn this thing off? Okay, goodbye, have a great week.